Welcome back to the channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. This is an exercise for exam FM for August 16, 2017. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. You can find information about the study manual that I wrote for exam FM at smarturl.it forward slash btdt dash FM. And uh, you can find information about the actual program that I direct at Illinois State University at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. Here's the problem. An association had a fund balance of 75 on January 1st and 60 on December 31. At the end of every month during the year, the association deposited 10 from membership fees. There were withdrawals of 5 on February 28th, 25 on June 30th, 80 on October 15th, and 35 on October 31. Calculate the dollar-weighted rate of return for the year. So remember that the dollar-weighted rate of return is calculated uh, under the assumption of simple interest, and it always is calculated basically as a ratio with the top being the net amount gained, and the bottom is the amount in the account multiplied by the fraction of the year or the time period that it has been in the account, or uh, if it's taken out, then you put it with a minus sign for the fraction of the year that it has been taken out for. So we're here in this solution, we figure out how much the, the income is in the account. So initial balance is 75, the total deposits are 120, 10 every month. Total withdrawals are 5 plus 25 plus 80 plus 35, so it's 145. Ending balance is 60. Okay, so you have 60 at the end and you took out 145. And you started with 75, and you added 120, so the net is an increase of 10. And the rate of return under this dollar-weighted rate of return, assuming simple interest, is the net investment income, net gain, divided by, and then we think this way when you look at the amounts here, 75, the initial balance. We basically say it's there for the whole year, so it's a whole year, 1 times 75. Then, the first deposit is there for 11 out of 12 months. So 11 div out of divided by 12 times 10. The second deposit for 10 out of 12 months, and so on. And the last one is there for 0 out of 12 months. 5 is withdrawn after 2 months, so it's taken out for 10 out of 12 months. 25 is withdrawn at the end of the 6 months, so it's taken out for 6 out of 12 months. 80 is taken out for 2.5 out of 12 months. And 35 is taken out for 2 out of 12 months. So all the amounts taken out are with the minus signs. All the money put in with the plus signs. And then you just do the calculation and it turns out to be more about 11.0092%. That's answer E. Please remember this is copyrighted material and also original questions coming from Society of Actuaries belong to the Society of Actuaries and are reproduced with permission. Good luck with your studies and good luck on the test.